Hello guys, now I will answer your question number 7 from Pure Math Me, Pearson and Excel A-level exam. Exam was taken in January 2024. In this question, you must show all stages of your working. Solutions relying entirely on calculated technology are not acceptable. The curve C has equation y equals 16 over 9 into 3 k, uh, 3x minus k and uh, x is not equals to k over 3 where k is a pos positive constant not equal to 3. Find dy by dx giving your answer in simplest form in terms of k. We need to differentiate this y. First part y is equals to 16 over 9 into 3x minus k this denominator is 1 you can take it up so y will be equals to 16 over 9 into 3x minus k power negative 1 so this is easiest way to differentiate uh, like this type of function otherwise you can apply a quotient rule here as well but this will be more easier now you differentiate uh, y with respect to x so it will be dy by dx and here we will apply this constant number keep as is and here we will apply the power rule according to the power rule this power will multiply this function minus 1 will multiply by 3x minus k and we will reduce the power by 1 minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2 and here is very important point whenever under the power is other than x value we differentiate that function again this point is very very important you have to memorize under the power function is always differentiated and it will be multiplied now you could simplify this now you can take this one down so it will be minus 16 over 9 and here 3x minus k this minus 2 can be written as plus 2 here multiply derivative of this function will be 3x x derivative is 1 therefore it will be 3 and k is a constant so constant derivative is 0 so only the derivative is 3 you can simplify this 3 by this 9 so it will be 3 here therefore finally our answer is dy by dx equals minus 16 over 3 into 3x minus k whole square so this is the answer for the first part for the next part the point p with x coordinate x coordinate is 1 lies on c given that the gradient of the curve at p is negative 12 find the two possible values of k gradient is always dy by dx you you know that got it so dy by dx is negative 12 and value of x is 1 for the next part it is given in that part gradient dy by dx equals to negative 12 and x is 1 implies that dy by dx we already got in the previous part that is minus 16 over 3 into 3x minus k square equals to negative 12 you can do cross multiply and substitute the value of x this one has one therefore uh, minus 16 will be equals to 3 will multiply by negative 12 it becomes uh, negative 36 and here you can write as 3 minus k square this will multiply here now you can expand the bracket and here you can simplify minus with minus and uh, you can divide both sides by 4 so this will be dividing by 4 it will be 4 equals 9 into here you will expand the bracket it will be 9 uh, the product is uh, minus 3k and multiply 2 it will be minus 6k plus k square again 9 will multiply each term 4 equals 81 minus uh, 54k plus 9k square 9k square minus 54k this 4 will be subtracted from 81 so it will be 77 equals to 0 uh, numbers are bigger so you can best thing apply quadratic formula by quadratic formula you can get the uh, two values for k let me write a quadratic formula for you minus p plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a 
so by using that we will get the value of k here k is negative uh, b is negative 54 here is minus minus and that minus makes it plus so it will be 54 plus minus negative 54 square minus 4 a is 9 and c is 77 divide by 2 a 2 multiply 9 54 plus minus the answer under the square root is 144 and take the square root of 144 it gives you 12 divide by 18 now we will get two answers for k one will be 54 plus 12 divide by 18 and other will be you can use or k equals to 54 minus 12 over 18 so one answer for k will be equals to 11 over 3 or other answer for k will be equals to 7 over 3. So these are two answers for k. Second part is done. For next part c, given also that k is less than 3. Find the equation of the normal to C at P, writing your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals to 0, where A, B and C are integers to be found. It means we need to find the equation of normal. And point P we could find easily because the X coordinate of P is given that is 1. So you can get the value Y coordinate of P for that point as well. And gradient at P is also given that is minus 12. Uh, to find the equation of normal, we have to find the gradient of normal as well. For C, let me write the equation for Y that is equals to 16 over 9 into 3X minus K. X equals to 1 and value of K, we will use that value of K that is less than 3. So this value is less than 3, 7 over 3. So we will use this value for K here in the above equation. It is less than 3. The other value is more than 3. So you will get the y coordinates for point P, substitute the value for, uh, for x here, x and k, 3 into 1 minus 7 over 3, we get the result as 8 over 3 for sure. Therefore the coordinates of uh, point P will be x is 1 and y is 8 over 3. This is the point P. And gradient of the tangent line is also given here. If you remember, that is uh, minus 12. It is given in the question, gradient of the tangent line. Gradient of tangent at P equals to minus 12. Implies that gradient of normal will be you know it is uh, minus 1 over the gradient of the tangent if you remember the formula minus 12 so answer will be 1 over 12 if two slopes are perpendicular to each other there is a formula m1 multiply m2 equals to negative 1 if one slope one gradient is given you could find the other gradient like m1 is always equals to minus 1 over the other gradient got it I'm using this formula here that's it so this is the gradient for normal we have now gradient of normal is 1 over 12 now you will find the equation of normal equation of normal through p we already got p here 1 and 8 over 3 There is very basic formula that is known as y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. Substitute the values. y minus y1 is 8 over 3 and m is uh, 1 over 12. x minus x1 is 1. Best thing to get rid of uh, this 12, multiply every number with 12, the highest denominator. It is the easiest way to simplify these type of fractions. Multiply by 12. So it will be 12y minus when you multiply 12 with 8 over 3, 3 will cancel 4, 4 multiply 8 is 32. 
Once you multiply by this the, uh, right side with 12, so you will get rid of 1 over 12 for sure. It will be x minus 1 only. We want to write the equation in this form. A, B and C are the integers to be found. So now that is your choice what you want to do. You can, uh, you can bring left hand side on right or you can take this uh, right hand side towards left. So mostly I am keeping the x coefficient positive. This is my habit. So you can do as you wish, no problem. Uh, this 12y becomes negative and this 32 uh, will be added to negative 1 so we get 31 here. So required answer will be x minus 12y plus 31 equals to 0. Here you can write the answers for a, b and c where a equals to 1 and b is negative 12 and c is 31. So this is the answer for part C. Now the last part. Show using algebraic integration that integral limit is 1 to 3, 16 over 9, 3x minus k dx equals lambda log 10, where lambda is a constant to be found. For D, to prove the result, consider left hand side your left hand side in this equation is equal to integral limit is from 1 to 3 16 over 9 3x minus k dx uh, we can use the value of k as uh, 7 over 3 because it is given in the question that uh, value of k is less than 3 substitute that value here 1 to 3 16 over 9 into 3x minus 7 over 3. Take the constant number outside of the integral then uh, it is easier to solve. Here it will be 1 over 3x minus 7 over 3 dx. Here again I am telling you very very important formula for integration that is if you have any function here and uh, in function is given in the denominator and numerator is its derivative got it if there is a function in the denominator and numerator is its derivative then the formula is we will take the log of the denominator f of x this is the formula very very famous formula plus c this is the formula got it here this is the function what is the derivative of this function here it is 3x and then the numerator should be 3 here Therefore, what we will do here, we will multiply this one as 3. Because you are multiplying here by 3, then you have to divide by 3 here as well to balance it. So, this is the derivative. Got it? Now, we can apply the formula, this one. We will take the log of the denominator. So, it will be equals to 16 over 27. And we will take the log of the denominator. Log of 3x minus 7 over 3. And here you apply the limit 3 and 1. Now in the next step, uh, first we will apply the value of uh, x as 3. So it will be 16 over 27 log of 3 into 3 minus 7 over 3. Then minus 16 over 27 log of, we will apply the this value here. I replace x with 1. 3 into 1 minus 7 over 3. Now 16 over 27 better, you take it outside of the bracket. So it will be 16 over 27 and you can simplify this one. So inside the bracket it is log 20 over 3 minus log solving 2 over 3. Log of x minus log of y, it is always equals to log of x over y. Got it? If two variables or numbers are dividing, we will subtract by taking the log. So you can change into that form. So answer will be 16 over 27 is here and you can apply the log. Log 20 over 3 will be divided by 2 over 3. Now we will simplify inside. So 16 over 27 log here you can write as 20 over 3 multiply 3 by 2. So this 3 is cancelled out. This 2 will cancel with 20. We get here 10. So finally, our answer is 16 over 27 log of 10. 
and uh, this one is equals to our right, right hand side so it is proved hence proved question number 7 is done